So, Marcus, how, uh, what percentage of these are like social commentary, political art, or because you said that traditionally they would put, they would put the medicine in and they would cut it with paint? Oh, or something? I think the, the format is kind of made for any kind of statement, you know. So all of the above. So like that one's all like military stuff on it. There. Okay. Yeah. Uh, You're pro-military. No, not necessarily. Uh, superheroes on that one. Disney princesses on this one. American okay. family values. Except it needs a therapist in there. Yeah. Kind of a horse, a couple Mustang <laughs> horse ranching. I don't know. I kind of just kind of let them group by how they find themselves, you know, like little items I find. So, and then like these ones have more of the like Indian stuff on, like this one has Custer surrounded by Indians, oh, okay. Indian rights now, and the Steve International, uh, and on a Plymouth thing. So. Do, you, do you see them uh, anyway as protection? Uh, like for instance, I, I have an aversion to like Disney type. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I haven't really thought about that too much. Uh, I think they could be different things. I kind of see them as portraits of people. Okay. Like the yeah, owner okay. of the shield. That's the, the medicine they would have. You know? So I'll try to think of a name that sounds Indian and kind of goes around with the theme, maybe. What do you mean by medicine? Uh, oh, what did I say? You said that they were uh, portraits and that they. Oh, I just said they were portraits of a person. People would get them and it would be kind of medicine for them. Well, kind of like, kind of like a rancher would like the thing with all the farm animals. Okay, so it would remind them of things. protection for his farm, okay. you know. So would... A little girl will get her daddy to buy that one with the Disney princesses on it to protect her princessness. Okay, so it's like an invocation of a, it's a psych, psych, psych them out. So it's like them. a different way of uh, depicting a person. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, what the elements, like, like a lot of times, when I collect my stuff for my sh personal shit, it's stuff that really matters to me, you know, stuff I've collected or uh, has happened to me, so like precious things all attached to that. Uh, so you consider them? For that, and so for that, I can like see my whole little life in there, you know, yeah. like all these events that happened that, uh, that I uh, got some sort of meaning. Or Do you consider it ma magic in any way? Yeah. But I think there's a lot of mysterious stuff that you know we don't know about. Yeah, there's more that we don't know than what we. Prove, yeah. You know, like bridge the gap between spirituality and. Uh, well, we're living in a time where physicists are talking like mystics. Yeah. You know, a lot there's of, a lot of crossover, like. Uh, I know it's the two second delay or three second delay, like, uh, like when energy gets to you, like, like I'll be driving down the road and I'll uh, think about a zoo or something, and then two or three seconds later, uh, I'll see a billboard of like a zoo with a giraffe, you know, and I think it's because you sense things before they get here, you know, like, like, and minimum is like, Two or three second delay. So like a synchronicity, like a Carl Jung uh, kind of synchronicity. I don't know. It's sort of like a, being trying in to tune. figure out the veil between the worlds, you know, because I think <clears> there's <throat> a height difference between the worlds too. I think uh, the other world's about three more feet higher or something. Oh yeah, if you look at one dimension and two dimension, and you read well, a lot like about quantum physics like and floating or something, maybe. Huh. Uh, but like, but like, uh, I know it's a lot of artists. Uh, predicted or got some energy before 9-11, you know, weeks or months, you know, because it's such a big event that affects so far into the future. It also reflects into the past, you know, before it gets there, you know, it's like you feel that energy that's going to be there because the future's already happened. So you're feeling that energy oh, coming okay. back at you before it even gets there. Well, it's like Einstein talked about past, present, and future yeah, simultaneous. It's faster than light, you know, that has more mind and energy. What's your view on 9-11? Oh, big event. Well, see, I predicted it, or, you know, like, uh, presaged it, according to, because, like, I did these paintings, and then a, a couple days, a day or two before, 
9-11, I put like airplanes going into vortexes, you know, that was sort of my symbol oh, wow. seen from a rear view. And so I had big paintings of vortexes abstract, and so I just added these to three of them, you know, and one was at a horizon level, like the Pentagon, the other two were like, I just... You didn't invoke it, did you? Nah. <laughs> I know, I think a lot of artists felt it, though. And yeah, the sensitive ones. Like uh, Julian Schnabel on one uh, TV series that was playing for And then uh, a month before, I was going to New York, so I had to come up with ideas that, was, that I thought would fit New York. So I had like the Twin Towers mm -hmm. with a huge snake wrapped around it. Oh, wow. That's stuff. symbolism. Uh, yeah, that energy is probably been such a big event, how it still affects us now. Young people are going like if something seems dated, they go up to September 10th. So everything's defined. And for me, like New York City as a cultural center was dying since the 90s, so that was kind of the last nail in the coffin as a, as a place where culture is created. It's still like a business trading post for people to bring their goods, especially artists. I like that idea. Uh, it's September 10th, it's my birthday is September 10th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was a special meaning. I didn't say September 10th. <laughs> what do you think of the shields? Oh, yeah. So what, how do people react in Holland for the shields? I have no idea yet. In England they react very positively. You know, they thought that the, the idea of using the hubcap. Uh-huh. Well, you know, uh, they, they, they really got into it. It's all true in hiding it. So, uh, we had three, so I thought that was pretty good. Did anybody try to use them as hubcaps and put them on the... Because I want to uh, see, no, I wanna see how they do if they twirl. <laughs> Maybe, have you tried that? If you put one on a, on a wheel or make it go around, that'd be a good video. There's no American cars, very few there, maybe some Chevrolets, there's a hardly. See, now I want to like around. see one on, twirling around. It's mostly Chevrolets. Shoot some video. <laughs> well, see, I think that's why it is just a statement on America, too, you know. It's like uh, this huge, excessive metal wasting uh, shields. Uh, yeah. Because that's a symbol of America, you know, almost. And then and to put holes in it is to puncture the uh, myths of America, you know, and then I add my own stuff to uh, fill in the holes. And I branded American by the flag on it. Uh, but in a way, those things would protect better than those leather shields ever did. You that's know, true, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. For uh, hard arrows. for an arrow to go through. Yeah, there's lots of, uh, around Albuquerque, a lot of car graveyards. I've gone to those picky part things, and they're pretty bizarre to find things in old cars. Also for, like, sculptures. Yeah. 